Hey there, my name's David. On this episode, I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint my rooftop car cargo box. Um, should be too difficult. I've just got a few things here. I've got some uh, trisodium phosphate degreaser stuff, this. Uh, I'll link this up in the description as well as the paint. There's two types of paint you can use. I'm going to be using some rust noleum. You can also use some uh, Kylon paint. And yeah, so first off, the main thing, you just need to prep and clean the surface super well, and then you can paint it. It took me nearly an hour and a half to try to get that screw out. It actually took me like an hour to find my screwdriver, which was the main problem. I kept on trying other weird little screwdriver like things, the little paint tool and stuff. And anyways, um, at some point you just gotta cut your losses and whatever, I'm just gonna leave it. It's super rusty. It's hard to get out. I have to use an angle grinder and all sorts of stuff. It's whatever, it's holding, it's holding. It's, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. So we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna wash this down now and then we're going to paint it. So I've already done one round of spraying this thing with a hose, but there's a few cobwebs and stuff still on it. I got this cargo box for hundred bucks. It didn't have any hardware. So I'll show you that too. You can just drill new holes and you just have to find some hardware that'll fit, uh, which I was lucky enough to find some for 30 bucks. So let's just spray this down, get it perfectly cleaned off, and then we can uh, degrease it. Look at this, my rubber glove, the end popped off my thumb. All right, so I got it all cleaned up now. All the mud and stuff came off pretty easily. I need to chip off that old logo that's on there, the Kerrite Explorer by Kerrite. It's just, just one of these Explorer boxes that's been rebranded. When it comes to selling stock video, which is something I do, I can't have brand logos on there. So in this case, since it's my box, I might as well scrape it off. And then when I paint it, it'll just be nice and clean. So if any shots of my car won't have that on there. I'm actually debating removing the Honda logos off my car too, because then I wouldn't have that box as well. All right, so I got most of the logo scraped off. It's kind of a pain. Uh, I'm gonna just go to the degreasing now and see if that helps remove it. Uh, it's starting to rain, dang it. Okay, I gotta take you guys inside. All right, so it's been a few days. I finally have an opportunity now to paint my cargo box because you can see it's sunny outside. You basically need about an hour for the box to cure and then you need to kind of hide it away for 24 hours and let it fully set. I think with this plastic paint, it takes uh, five to seven days to fully cure. So you don't want to do your road trip um, right after you spray it. You want to leave it for at least a week. You can see I got the surface completely cleared off. Now it's much cleaner than it was. And I'm just going to paint over these rusty bolts. I tried taking them out, but they're just so rusted in there. It's not worth my time. So what I'm going to do is just paint the top. So I'm going to put plastic that covers the bottom completely. All right, so here's the final box painted. I might do a second coat, we'll see. It's better to spray a little bit further away if you're gonna do this and just kind of layer it. There's a lot more in that spray can than you'd expect, which I didn't know, that's why I was kind of a little antsy to soak it up close. Um, I think it's my 
I don't know, second time using spray paint. So one thing that was really dumb is the plastic has old dried <laughs> white paint on it, but it's wet. And like, I just bought a new plastic uh, drop sheet for like a dollar from the dollar store. So now I need to let this dry for an hour and then I can decide if I want to put a second coat on it. There's always something to worry about. You can see there's some rain clouds coming. It just keeps changing here. That's why I have this sunny window. I need to take advantage of it. So you see my cargo box over there. I'm going to use that same blue on these uh, Honda Sim symbols here. That way it actually kind of ties the vehicle together. I think I can just stick paper in there and spray it. All right, so I figured out a solution here. All, I'm, all I did is take a piece of cardboard. You can see it's sitting out against my car, cut a hole in it. So it's roughly the size of that. I'll use painter's tape around this and then just blast it and I'm done. I'll just move this tire to tire, one, two, three, four, and I'm done. Trying to avoid at all costs taking off this emblem or whatever. It looks like you have to take the wheels off and hit it from the back to pop it out. It's too much work. This is gonna be easy. Uh, I just need to make sure it's not gusting wind as it is right now. All right, so you can see I've got one, two, three and four tires taped up. I did try putting a piece of paper over top of it, just normal paper, and I taped it down and I used an X-Acto knife and I cut right in the ridge so it would be a perfect circle, but it just wasn't clean enough. There would be some overspray. All right, so I ended up just spraying my box a second time with a second can, give it a full second coat, uh, just because there was it was a bit patchy, a bit spotchy. Now the wind is starting to pick up, which I just realized it's nice and even now. I might have to get this plastic out of here. I don't know. I need to let this set for 20 minutes and then get rid of this plastic. All right, a couple days later now, my box should be nice and dried out, so it's time to put it up on the vehicle. So I forgot I need to wash out a bit of that white paint off that plastic sheet that got on the inside and you can see on the bottom there I need to blast all that off. Alright, I spent the last 15-20 min minutes cleaning up all the overspray that was on my, uh, on my wheels here. You can see it looks so much better now, the uh, blue caps. So one thing I didn't account for was the holes on the box are not lined up for my uh, bars. So I can obviously line up one of them, but I need to drill two new holes for the back. Maybe it's only one hole, we'll see. All right, I kind of monkeyed around with this thing for a while and I found the most stable spot is pushing it forward. I'm gonna hook the two front brackets in and I just need to drill new holes for the two back brackets. And it's it's actually tricky to put this on because you, as you can see, this thing pivots open like a clamshell. So you can't just reach in from the other side. You have to like, you have to reach across to attach these things. So I have to take it off to drill the holes. I was thinking maybe I'd drill them up there, but it's not gonna work. So the easiest way to drill holes is to use one of these brackets because it has to fit in these holes. So to get the other side, <laughs> either you have to get a ladder and try to lean. This is really tricky. So what I'm going to do is take my rubber boots off and I built a platform in my, in my car. So I should be able to hold my weight no problem. So I'm going to take my boots off, climb on my platform and lean over and I should be able to get access from there.
got it up there, it's all nicely centered. Like it. Let me know in the comments down below if you like the matching blue with the uh, hubcaps I painted. That does it for the cargo box. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll do whatever I can to help you in painting your own cargo box. I'll link up both the paint and the degreaser down below and be sure to subscribe. And until next one, have a great day.